Nicktoons. Sure, there's about 10,000 of them out now, but does anybody remember the original three? One was Rugrats, the other was Ren and Stimpy, and usually stuck in the middle of those two was one called Doug. Anybody remember Doug? Ah, Doug, the least popular of the three original Nicktoons. You know, it wasn't that it was badly animated or that it didn't have its moments. The problem is, is that it was so god-awful boring. It's a cartoon show. And this was about as boring as watching grass grow. So, needless to say, Doug did not have the popularity of Rugrats or Ren and Stimpy, but it did have a fictional burger called the Honker Burger. And that's what we're going to make here today on Dave's Cooking Show, the Honker Burger from the show, Doug. All right, let's start these Honker Burgers off. First thing you want to do is add some pink Himalayan salt to the burger. This is an 80-20 mix, in case you're wondering. You can find the pink salt at Costco, at least that's where I got mine. And then, of course, some freshly ground black pepper, because salt and pepper are in goddamn everything. They are the world's perfect spices. I didn't say it before, this is one pound of 80-20. And then you want to add some paprika. Uh, about that much, just eyeball. These are burgers. You don't have to get down to the goddamn gram of this or half a gram of this or flake of this or grain of that. Just wing it. And also, you want to add some garlic powder to it. And then mix it all around with your hands and then form them into quarter pound patties. As I've often stated, a good size comparison for quarter pound patties is they are about the size of a tennis ball. Okay, I don't need to go through how to make these burgers. Couple minutes aside in this hot stainless steel pan or griddle, whatever you want to call it. Now, some people ask me why I sometimes make my burgers in this thing instead of just directly on my grill, as I have several. Well, actually, it's a taste difference. A grill doesn't give you that nice crust you see here, and believe it or not, that actually gives the burger a better flavor, a different flavor, and not say better, different, because it traps more of the spices and the juices inside the burger. So if you want to flip it up from your traditional grilled burgers, give this a shot. And last little step, melt some sharp cheddar cheese in these honker burgers, and how about we go through things that I find actually more boring than the cartoon show Doug. Whittling spoons, golf, raking sand, golf, again, classical music concerts, poetry readings, and finally, golf. Seriously, how fucking boring is golf? Seriously, how is golf so motherfucking popular? I mean, first off, the game costs about a billion dollars to play because each fucking club is about a hundred plus dollars. Then, this is the premise of the game. You take this little itty bitty ball, you put it on this little itty bitty fucking tee, you take your club, you smack the motherfucker. It sails down and hits some fucking grass. Then you walk to that spot. Then you hit the fucking ball again and it sails to another part of the grass. Usually this part of the grass is finer, finely very, finely cut grass also known as the fucking putting green. Then you get up to the putting green and you tip, tap, tap a -roo until the fucking little ball goes into a hole about this big. One hole in golf probably takes anywhere from 15 to 20 fucking minutes. And do you do this just one time? Fucking hell no! You do this 18 fucking times! Personally, to me, golf is about as exciting as watching fucking grass grow. Fishing is more exciting. At least with fishing, you get to drink beer, and you do get the fun of fighting the goddamn fish. Golf, about as exciting as watching grass grow. Now, if you're wondering where the last part of the burger is, where I put all the condiments and shit on it, I actually forgot to film that part. But, I mean, for Christ's sakes, this is the seventh fictional burger I've done. I think we all know what goes on a goddamn burger, but in case anyone's wondering, here's a list of shit that goes on a goddamn burger. Yeah.